New supercharged V8 powered Land Rover Defender next to me, supercharged V8, and it puts out 525 horsepower and 625 newton meters of torque. It has an eight speed automatic gearbox and all wheel drive. It's quite heavy, weighs in at the twin turbo V8 with 585 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque. It's also got a nine speed automatic gearbox, all wheel drive, locking diffs, and lots of hardcore off roadiness about it because of all that hardcore. That is that Wrangler V8. It's got a 6.4 litre Hemi. Anyhow, that has 470 horsepower and 637 newton meters of torque. It's got an eight speed automatic gearbox, all wheel drive, all the discs, proper off road capability, 150 kilos. Now, if you want to buy one of those, you does have a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 and it puts out 530 horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque. It's got an eight speed automatic gearbox, all wheel drive, of course, but also launch control. It is the only of these four vehicles with launch control. That's actually driven by Nabil's brother, Maz. Three, two, one. Oh, the way that G went off the line, but nothing compared to that completely nuts Wrangler. A seven is quick. I'm last. Can I catch the Wrangler? I'm not going to catch that G or the X7. Oh, the 7 got me. Right, I lost that. Great Britain beaten by Germany and America. Oh, well. First off, that Wrangler off the line, winner. It's a monster off the line, isn't it? I'm having to shift at 4,000 into second gear and then I can shift at five into third gear. I hit my limiter at 99 miles an hour, so I don't know if that's something built into this. I don't know. I want to know who won between the Topaz boys. It was like brother on brother, bit of sibling rivalry. Three, two, I think I might jump that. <laughs> Here comes the G63. Can I come past that Wrangler? I think your start was a little bit slow again, Nabil, and might have been a little bit too quick. Yeah, I was a bit slow on that one. Final go. What happens now is what happens. Excuse is over. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a bit slow again off the line. Oh, here comes the G63 and the BMW. This is gonna be so close. Come on! Wow, that was good. This launches really well when you brake boost it. Okay, so Wrangler, I think that was your worst launch out of all of them, wasn't it? Yeah, I was starting to get a little bit of slip, so I was trying to take care of the car on that one, so I didn't try to launch it as hard as it did as the last one. But yeah, it's good. It's just, it's trying to change gear. You have to shift up at just about four in first, otherwise it hits this weird limiter. And then the same when you go from second to third. One pathetic soap story later. And then by the time I'm doing 99 miles an hour, you're all gone to the distance. So what happened though between the X7 and the G. Nabil. Did you do it? So the launch was much better this time. I think we launched a very similar timing. I was ahead slightly, probably about an inch for a little while. And then after that, the aerodynamics, it's like a brick going through air. So then aerodynamics just got to it. And then I think the X7 just went past and kept on going. Wow, well, let's find out. So then what exactly happened? Well, the BMW won, crossing the line just ahead of the Mercedes. Though both cars completed the standing quarter mile in 12.9 seconds. The Land Rover was third, taking 13.3 seconds, and the Jeep was last, finishing in 13.8 seconds. Okay, now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, the car's in just normal drive for the automatic gearbox and just comfort mode or whatever normal is. You know, like you're just cruising along and then you see three other SUVs and think, oh, I wanna race them. So I'm gonna challenge them. Three, two, one, go. Kick down. That Mercedes shot off. Everybody shot off. I'm last. 
Here comes the half mile. What's happened to that? It's like he's dropped an anchor. That's what I want. This is doing better at the top end now. Can I get, no, it's between those two. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the X7 and all of a sudden I looked to the right and the is there next to me. Did he beat you though? Did he cross the Marmot before you? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Yes, I did. Oh, there we go. Victory for the BMW again. I suppose it's not a proper off-roader though, is it? So we should probably do something off-roadery with them and then like even the balance. But anyway, let's take the kick down of the gearbox out of the equation. Let's do another rolling race. Now, we're going to have a rolling race, once again from 50 miles an hour, but the car's in their sportier setting, and we're going to start locked in third gear. So I'm going to call this in again. Let's see if we get a different result this time. Here we go then. Three, two, one, go. Nice pickup from the supercharger. It's still last. <laughs> That Wrangler seems to get to a point that it's just like, no, no more. But there's now a clear difference between the BMW and the Mercedes. It's not like he's catching him up. He was always ahead in the BMW. Do you mind you growing up, getting beaten up by your older brother? I can't believe it. I thought I'd give him the hearse and then I'd bloody lose. I thought I was going to win. That's why I'm in this car. They are both your cars, aren't they? You picked who went in what and you went for that. So just the wrong choice. <laughs> I'm never going to hear the end of this. Matt, but I think you misled him a little bit as well. You were on my side today. <laughs> I'm not on anybody's side apart from my own. Okay, now we're going to do a brake test from 100 miles an hour. Well, I say 100 miles an hour, that Wrangler doesn't quite do 100, it does about 99. It like tops out, it's got some sort of limiter on it, that's why I was able to come past it. So what we're going to do is just get level with the Wrangler. It's going to set the pace. And when we hit the line, full emergency stop, see which of these SUVs stops in the shortest distance. Here we go. Come on, stop. Stop. No, no, no! <laughs> that was nuts! That was incredible, really. I didn't think there'd be this much difference between this Land Rover and the two German cars. No way. I was expecting that Jeep on those crazy off-road tires to do pretty poorly, but I'm really unimpressed by this Land Rover. Anyway, the bill, it's happened again, hasn't it? I can't believe it. I was literally effing and blinding because I could see I was braking and it looked like I was gonna beat him, but he's just there. It's such an ugly car result to look at from the outside and look at it and going, it's just there beating you. Now, before all you BMW fanboys get all moist in the comments about BMW's the best and all that kind of stuff, listen, this Land Rover, that Mercedes and that Jeep are all proper off-roaders, right? That X7 isn't. You take them in some serious off-road terrain, that X7 will lose. We just put it in there to appease the BMW fanboys. I think overall, Nabil, for the proper off-roaders, you won. Yeah? Yes! So you're still... My favourite Topaz brother overall. That's what I'm talking about. I love you too, Matt. No, of course. That